Kennedy is a project I started, I guess, three years ago now. Uh, I've been playing in bands for probably like a couple of years, maybe ten years or something like that. Okay. Um, I got tired of bands breaking up and trying to get through shit, uh, okay. just trying to get through stuff. So um, I took it upon myself to learn how to sing and start doing production. Okay. Um, and that kind of gave birth to Ted Kennedy. So I did a four-song EP that was released in 2014. Um, it was pretty well received, and then yeah, I have another EP that was released two years ago, and now I'm working on my next one. Holy shit, that's yeah. amazing! Nice, cool. So, what does Ted Kennedy sound like, or what, how would you describe the sound? Oh, it's then? always the tough question. <laughs> it's the toughest question. Um, I kind of it's like, I guess I'm guess what I'm trying to be is like an updated Depeche Mode. So because like my vocals sound, I guess I sound a lot not intentionally. I just kind of sound natural. That's just kind of what it drifted yeah, towards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, not that I was like some Depeche Mode head trying to be like <laughs> rap this sound. That's just kind of what came out. Um, so it's like an updated version of Depeche Mode, maybe like a cross between Depeche Mode and cut copy to describe as. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Nice. That's amazing. So. What kind of instrumentation or setup do you use for? You said you sing. Is yeah. it is it all kind of multi instrumental kind of one man band kind of thing? Yeah, I try I try to not do the one man band too much. Like I'm not like I try not to be doing 18 things at once because it okay. kind of wrecks the performance. So I'm always singing. Um, and then I play guitar and then I also play synths and then I have like Ableton triggering stuff in the background. I kind of like being the. Uh, the master, the, 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 master. Yeah. the orchestrator, the yeah. second member, yeah, was able to. Oh, okay, yeah. nice. Yeah, that's amazing. Is that is that kind of like what you started off with, or did you over time kind of get to that to that format or that combination? Um, I guess it started off just as me recording in my bedroom, like even long before Ted Kennedy, when I was just kind of doing my own recordings. I was like recording guitar and singing, and then like very like. Very early on, I wanted to combine like electronic music and beats with that, so I got into Ableton very early on, and I just kind of always did that. So then, when I went to do my solo project, it was just kind of natural. It was a natural really fit. Use those tools. Yeah, yeah, and then as like electronic music became more popular, and I became more in, into the into it, I became more into synthesizers and getting that side right, side gotcha. done. Yeah, so it was like Fruity Loops, then very quickly Ableton, and then, <laughs> and then like, straight to and then, yeah, this kind of came out this way. And, like depending on the sh the night. And, songs I'm playing, I'm playing more guitar or less guitar, more keyboard or less keyboard. Oh, okay. Some so tracks I just sing, yeah. I'm nice. trying to mix it all up. Yeah. That's amazing. Cool. So, how did that lead to you working on frequencies? Well, I think this is fairly common for a lot of promoters, at least the ones I know, um, that it's hard to get shows. So, like, you end up creating your own. Uh, <laughs> just make your own. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I started with an EP release that I did at a bar in Toronto called Baseline. That was really okay, successful. Yeah. Um, then a friend of mine knew the owner here, and I started doing some one-off nights here. Got a few Saturdays. was really successful. Oh, nice. And then they're like, do you want to do a monthly series? And I was like, okay, I guess. I've never sure, done it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, So then I kind of got into that world. Oh, that's um, amazing. Cool. And as I've like grown, seeing like, the people who played, here and people who I've played with and been able to kind of get a good a good mix of performers and, and yeah, play every month. That's amazing. So is there is there any specific kind of aesthetic vision to it or anything that you kind of steer the genre towards or what, what's, the, what's the feel or philosophy behind frequencies? The philosophy behind frequencies is live electronic music. Like, and I've looped hip-hop in there because in my mind hip-hop is like it can go, it can go can, really can well. Really, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I don't book any bands and I don't book any DJs. Um, are kind of the two things that I want. Not that I don't like them. Um, I like going to see bands. They have a lot of. There's a lot of nights in Toronto for DJs. There's a lot of nights in Toronto for bands. But there wasn't a lot for like live electronic production. Um, so there's a real need for it. So like that's its like that's its main thing is live electronic production. Live electronic production. Okay, yeah. yeah so that's kind of like the niche that you're you're carving. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's broad enough that we can go from like we can have like we can have an ambient artist, we can have techno artists, we can have house artists, we can have beat producers, we can have people who do what I do, like electro stuff. Um, just as long as there's a performance component, um, they're kind of allowed if, to come. If, yeah. if it's the film, nice. That's yeah. amazing. Cool. So, do the bands usually come to you, or do you scout out uh, people they think might fit, or is it a bit of both? Sometimes people come to me. A lot of times what I'll do if I'm scouting out is I'll ask friends, so people who've played or other promoters, 
who they know in the scene, oh, and then okay. they can normally recommend people, and that's usually been the best way. Sometimes I'll be at a friend's show, and like another person will be opening, and I'll like get like a new group of people, group of people I can meet. Um, yeah, that's generally how I do it. Like John, who's playing, who does a little limitation, who's playing tonight. I met him through another friend who does Subtle Blend, which is a beat night here. And he's like a hip hop MC and runs like a poetry slam, a whole bunch of hip hop nights at his art gallery. So it's like really cool to meet, meet new people in different scenes. And then I try to use frequencies to bring everyone together. It's like kind of unified. Yeah, unify so like with okay, John, yeah. who's in the middle, the mid limitation, doing like hip hop and sport in that community in Toronto. And then the closer tonight's Joel, and he's doing like hard, heavy techno. And I yeah, don't think yeah. they ever really play together. So I try to like bring those two. Right, but together. in this context, yeah, yeah. it works together. That's yeah. amazing. Nice. So, how how have you found the scene in Toronto? It's vibrant. So there's a lot of okay. great promoters. Um, whatever like they're doing, like um, if they're doing like just like dance parties, so techno shows, house shows, okay. hip hop shows, um, electro shows, bands. There's lots like you can get there's a lot lots of going lots on. going yeah. on. They're just not huge, and the talent here is really great. So okay. like Jade Whitney, who opened tonight, was amazing. Like it just the talent pool just blows me away. It's like okay, running sure. free other other nights that aren't necessarily like, they won't just be like I'm only listening to tech. Only on to this. Yeah, 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 they kinda like float around um, to everything. Okay, yeah. nice. Yeah. Cool, that's amazing. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. That was a very insightful chat. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you got something. Oh, right. definitely got some good stuff.